A war which is tearing Ethiopia apart has not yet reached its capital city. But the fighting has exposed deep and long-standing ethnic divisions in this country. In Addis Ababa, where people from all over Ethiopia live side by side, neighbor is turning against neighbor, friend against friend. Even families look at each other with suspicion. Now, all over the city, volunteers are signing up for vigilante groups who roam their local neighborhoods looking for ethnic Tigrayans. The rapid advance of the Tigray rebel group, the TPLF, has fueled distrust and paranoia. These people say they are looking for suspected TPLF operatives, but they stop anyone they don't recognize. For months, Tigrayans have reportedly been detained and disappeared by authorities here in Addis. But that has increased since the government declared a state of emergency. The police were given sweeping powers of arrest. And although these volunteers have no authority, in this climate, when they call to inform on a Tigrayan in their neighborhood, the police will come. The vigilantes interrogate a man who appears to be homeless. Solomon checks his ID and listens to his accent to determine where he is from. It's not Tigray. The group's paranoia seems unreasonable, but their actions can have real consequences. Solomon told me they have handed 15 people over to the police in the last week. He doesn't know what happened to them once they were taken away. Addis Ababa is home to people from all of Ethiopia's ethnicities, including hundreds of thousands of Tigrayans, many of whom moved here while the TPLF was in power. The group led a ruling coalition for 27 years until being ousted by the current Prime Minister, Abi Ahmed. Whilst in control, the TPLF committed human rights abuses against other ethnic groups. The legacy of that is resentment and even outright hatred for anyone from Tigray. Ethiopians love their coffee and this is how they socialize. Small coffee shops everywhere. But Tigrayans tell me that they no longer feel safe coming to places like this. They fear if they speak their language, members of the public will call the police. The authorities say they are only detaining Tigrayans when there is a firm connection to the TPLF. But human rights groups claim that Tigrayans are being ethnically profiled. I spoke to a dozen Tigrayans about what is happening, but most didn't feel safe enough to give an interview. One man agreed on the condition that we disguise his identity. He tells me he's a day laborer who has seen three of his colleagues arrested recently just because of their ethnicity. In recent years, more and more people from Addis Ababa were taking the city as their identity, shedding regional, ethnic labels, which they saw as old-fashioned and divisive. 
But after a year of war, everyone here is now acutely aware of which part of Ethiopia their fellow citizens are from. For Tigrayans, that means suspicion, persecution and fear.